Dirt Country Boy here, uh, making a review of my uh, Elite Force 1911s. This is my very first one, you know, as you can tell from all the scratches and abuse. Upgraded the internals from out of this one, which is the Elite Force 1911 tech. And I'll get to that one when I'm about the uh, upgrades and all. For now, this one. I mostly took the uh, internals out of this one and put it in this one besides the uh, barrel. Uh, made a modified spring. My father helped me with that because I don't understand how to do things here and there. Uh, took the old recoil springs out of this one into this one. The uh, original barrel still works in this one, so that's a good thing. Nothing new for, you know, triggers. I may get a new grip system for this. Don't know yet. But, uh, very first, very first, you know, 1911 I had, and my safety is messed up. That's why I also, uh, keep the hammer up and safety on. Now this one. Lake Force 1911 tech. New barrel. New internals, hop up, uh, Noveski amplifier. I just wanted to get that for looks and uh, kind of muffle the sound. But uh, nothing new on the lower and all. Go ahead and take it apart here. As you can see, nothing new on the uh, frame. Uh, slide. New recoil springs. New internal valve and spring, and uh, another spring in there. This is my first video, people, so if you don't like it, I can understand. But I'm just getting back into airsoft, so please forgive me at all. I go to uh, DMZ here in Colorado. Really nice place. If you ever come to Colorado and you go to DMZ, it is very nice place the refs are nice they're the one of the refs uh helped me fix this one and that one and uh mostly first mag that came with the black one here second mag which has the new upgraded valve i guess i don't know came with that one bought this one at dmz barely used i hardly used it besides uh testing this out in my backyard to see how it sounds and how it works. Hop up in this is a little bit off. I have it all the way lowered as I can, but the BBs are just going up because it's new and it needs to be broken. 27 round extended mag works really good, even though the uh, where the ZO2 gets housed, the little pressure thing here, you you move it with an Allen wrench, but uh, mine's a bit chipped and I try and file it, but uh, oh well. Just don't use Crossman CO2 in it. That is it, and uh, flashlight's just a little cheap, you know. Just got it on there for looks. Might get a laser for it, but uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, or anything. Have a nice day. Country Boy out.